Hello folks, this is Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing. Just wanted to bring you in on a project that I'm working on, this 36-foot Tiffin RV. And I want to talk about when you're washing them, I use a foam can and get it all soapy and sudsy, right? Then I take my very soft brush and kind of agitate it and then rinse it off. What will happen with an RV, no matter what soap you use, I'm also working in direct sunlight, so it's a little bit more problematic on this side of the RV. But you're going to get like soap and water trapped around the windows and you rinse and you keep flushing and keep flushing. What's eventually going to happen as you work around the RV, you're going to get little, I don't know, they're water spots, soap residue. And this is actually the soap I'm using is pH neutral. And if we come in here and we take a look, hopefully it will show it. But I've got all these little streaks from the soap and the water kind of drying on the panel. Plus the water here is, I think it might be a little bit hard. But I want to show you a little trick to be able to quickly get that stuff off if you've got any water spots or any streaking from the water kind of running out of the seals as you're working around the RV. Let me set you guys down and I'll show you a cool little thing that I do. I guess if we bring you here, you might see it even better on those black stripes. But you can see, see this water streak right here? Okay, that's, that's horrible. That's, that's pH neutral soap, by the way, folks. And that's what's going to happen when you work in direct sunlight. You're going to get soap that gets tra trapped into these creases and you, and you rinse and you rinse and you rinse and you move on. It's just going to start to run out and you're going to get a little bit of sun issues. Let me put you down. Bear with me, guys. I'll show you a little trick on how to remove this stuff pretty quickly. Where am I? Am I in the camera's view? I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. Okay. What I have, guys is Meguiar's Last Touch Detail Spray, right? And then I've got this little microfiber mitt that's on the end of this pole. This pole is telescoping, it's about eight feet long. What I'm gonna be able to do is kind of spray my Meguiar's Last Touch Detail Spray on this panel here, right? And I wanna work, work a little bit quickly because I'm working in the sun. I then take this pole with the microfiber end on it, which is completely soft and gentle. I've already washed the boat, I've already washed the RV. I'm just going to gently go over the side of this RV with the detail spray and all those little water spots or streaks, whatever you want to call them, are going to completely disappear. I just wanted to share that little tip with you. How cool is that? These things are like $10. They come with a soft little microfiber bonnet on the end of it. And with the detail spray, I can get around this truck, this RV pretty quick and just remove that soap residue or the hard water spots that might be on the vehicle. And I'm almost done with this thing. I'm going to dial in the wheels and do the, uh, i got to polish the aluminum. I'll bring you guys in for a video on that. But I just wanted to show you that cool little tip of how to remove little soap streaks or whatever you want to call them. I don't know what they're called. I'm tired of it. After 26 years, I just want them gone. And that is my quickest way to be able to cover a lot of territory with this, with this wand, with this pole. I can go all the way up to the top of that RV and come all the way down pretty quickly just to remove those hard water spots and residue. The next thing I got to do is polish those aluminum wheels. I'm going to bring you in and show you how I do that rather quickly. I appreciate it guys. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.